Hello and welcome back to Pendor. I'm actually at Savador Castle right now and as you can see they've already sallied out. I'm actually really really surprised that they decided to do this. I kind of thought to myself hey you know what they're surely not going to sally out. No 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 they did. They did. Alright so obviously I have mostly my, my custom troops so hopefully that's not going to cause us to suffer any well, significant casualties. I mean, let's face it, we have some very, very strong units here, so I'm hopeful that we'll actually be fine. And, okay, these guys really don't want to fight, do they? No, they really don't. Okay, well, I don't blame them, to be honest, as you can see. This is just an absolutely insane weapon. I absolutely love it. I really, really do love it. And if only... Oh, no, really, really? I still have no idea how these guys are actually able to inflict damage through their allies. It's always extremely funny how that happens. Not entirely sure how, but there you go. Anyway, my forces should be absolutely fine here. Hopefully, at least. They have some very, very good weapons. So we should be okay. But it very much depends on if the enemy's crossbowmen are going to... Uh, take advantage of the fact that they probably have more ammunition than we do. But it, look at that. There we go. We actually lost five. Ooh. That's a pretty significant loss right there. But, uh, well, we can, only, we can only do our best. Okay, we can only do our best. So that's exactly what I'm going to try to do here. And indeed, taking Savador Castle by ourselves. 72 Renown is our reward for that as well. And let's just go straight on in. Okay, so... This is a bit of an issue here, because as you can quite clearly tell, there's not really too many places that we can go to. So I'm a little bit... Yeah, no, I'm not too pleased about it, not too pleased. But we can just murder every single person in here with our laser-guided arrows, because that's exactly what they are at this point. And um, yeah, we should be absolutely fine with this. Now, I just need to make sure that we eliminate... Well, I actually have no idea how many they even have in the in the garrison now anymore because I think they had around 400 or something like that so hopefully they have a relatively well lessened amount from our absolute enormous damage that we did with the um, with the sally out so I can only hope that that's going to be the case if not then well <laughs> that's just how it's going to have to be but yeah we do seem that we are absolutely murdering everything right now kind of hoping that we're going to be able to get these guys to come outside and well it seems as though we are absolutely destroying them um yeah <laughs> this is the kind of thing that you can do it's pretty crazy um yeah that actually re um reminds me i need to sell my diamonds i need to sell my large pouch of diamonds that i have in my inventory at the moment and i need to go and take that money and actually go and um, upgrade my forces so that we can actually get them, you know, doing a little bit better in regards to their proficiencies and their strength and all that wonderful stuff because that is something that I would very much like to do. I think at the moment they have 400 and... 420? Is it 420? I'm actually not entirely sure. It might be 420 or 430 or something like that in terms of proficiencies. Very much hoping that we can get more than that. Oh, this guy. I absolutely loathe these skirmishers, to be honest. Every single time we have to fight against skirmishers, it's extremely irritating. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, am I going to die from this? Oh, I might actually die from this. Okay, we've eliminated 172 so far. Maybe, maybe I can tell my forces to charge in. Oh, every single time I have to go against crossbowmen, there's always some really low-ranking fellow that just does a huge chunk of damage to me before I can eliminate him, of course. Oh, uh, well, never mind. Okay, so I guess I'll... Should I just tell my guys to charge in? I don't know whether we are going to be able to get too many more kills from this because, I mean, you can see that the enemy has basically withdrawn as much as they can here. I don't know. May maybe we'll be okay. The enemy has just received more reinforcements. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I can't retreat. That's the whole, that's the only thing. I can't retreat. We can't afford to lose any more honor here. And that's the funny thing. I actually don't have a huge amount of honor right now. As you may have seen in the previous episode. We literally have... I think it is, uh, what, 40? 50? I don't know. We have an extremely small amount of honor. Even though I have actually been letting most of the enemy vassals go. At least most of the... Um, the good personality types. 
So it's very, very surprising to me, actually, that we still don't have a, uh, a good amount of honor. I don't know. I guess we're going to have to farm honor somehow. I don't know how we're going to do that, but we, yeah, we're going to have to try to do it. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll have to um, <laughs> help out some farmers or something like that. Anyway, we're just going to tell all our forces to charge in here. I think we should be absolutely fine to eliminate the rest. Oh, no. I don't really want to go up there myself. Going to have to be a little bit careful of this guy, that's for sure. Can we actually eliminate him? Yep, there we go. He actually almost had my number there. He almost dialed it in, that is for sure. All right, so... Come on, fr friends, let's do this. Let's, uh, oh yeah, why am I going first? I don't know. No idea. No idea why I'm going first. Absolutely terrible idea. Yep, absolutely terrible idea. Exactly, look at this. I got killed by a skirmisher. I got killed by a skirmisher. Of course, of course I would. And they're right there, as you can see. These fr fellows right here were the ones to, to uh, eliminate me. Oh well, never mind. My forces should be very, very easily capable of doing this, but unfortunately, I'm pretty sure we're going to sustain some casualties from this, just purely for the fact that those skirmishers have no competition whatsoever, and they're just going to continue firing away, and they're probably going to get some pretty decent headshots. All right, so it turns out we actually lost zero people, and the only one that actually died was me, so that's hilarious in a, uh, in a rather ironic fashion, because I thought to myself, oh yeah, I'm, I'm probably not going to, well, I'm, I'm definitely not going to survive in those kinds of situations, I suppose, but there you go. There's only two? <laughs> that was funny. Only two recruits that they had in the keep here, but there you go, we were able to achieve victory. This fellow obviously is sadistic, so... Technically, usually I'm letting these guys go into my prisoner hold, but maybe I should just release them and just get the honor. That might actually be the way to go here, and that's probably what I will do from now on. We're just going to let every single person go. It doesn't matter who we're, you know, who we have available there. Gold bar, that's not too bad. I'm actually going to be putting the Orator back a sword in there and allowing Sir Jocelyn to equip it. As you can see, he actually just got one. And we're just going to get a couple of pieces of the torso armor as well. And basically, the rescued uh, the rescued troops here are going to be um, somewhat wasted, I think. I, I actually... Ah, you know what? You know what? I'm just going to take them. I'm just going to take them, all right? I'm going to take every single one that we can get our hands on that is actually a... Well, a unit that can actually advance into something relatively, relatively good. And that's pretty much it. I don't really want to... Um, shall we say dilute our overwhelming power with some lower tier troops that are not going to be as effective. I will take the prisoners though because no doubt we're going to be meeting with a ransom broker relatively soon. So there we have it. Okay, nice. So who do we want to give this to? Well, we could give this to anyone really. We could give it to Alastair, Alamar, Godric. Guess I'll give it to Alamar, I suppose. Anson does not like that one bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is to be expected, I suppose. Anyway, there we go. That is exactly what's happening here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go over to Laria and I'm going to hand in my diamonds. This is probably as good a time as any to do it. And I'm just going to go and upgrade some of my um, some of my troops. And then we can actually have a look at their stats and we can see what they're actually doing now because I have no idea what they're what they're all about at the moment. So let's just try and upgrade them and see what happens. I would like to exchange some diamonds. Sell all diamonds, and there we go. We gain 97,500. Very nice indeed. So we are now going to make our way over to White Stag Castle, and I will upgrade my troops. They are strong, fierce. All right, so these are the stats that we currently have for our T Knights. I did, I, I basically tried to upgrade them as much as I could. And we still have a little bit of cash left over because I actually found that in my stash there were still some gold bars. I had some, I actually had some gold bars in my inventory as well. And I sold as much as I could. And then we obviously had a couple of pieces of loot as well. And we were able to do that. So we now have around 540 in archery. Um, not that much in power draw, hilariously enough, because I just really haven't. I don't know, I just haven't done that that much. But we got some pretty decent strength, skill, and so on and so forth there. And then obviously we have the Biscuit Sergeants, who are relatively similar, as you can see. But um, yeah, <laughs> not as much as the Knights, of course. But they are still absolutely fantastic. So 
Otherwise, apart from that, we're actually right in front of Janos here, and I'm actually wanting to eliminate this fellow because I'd like to try to besiege Janos if at all possible. I don't know whether it's even going to be possible. It's probably not going to be, to be honest, but... Could try, I don't know, could try it. Maybe, maybe we'll be okay to do it. I don't know. Very much depends. So let's get my archers over here, get my cavalry in the front as well, and then we'll see what we can do. Obviously, some of the time it may actually be a much better idea to just, what, how did, how did someone hit me from there? I have no idea. Okay, well, whatever. Anyway, the point is, it might actually be a good idea for us to literally just take our our knights off their mounts not for any kind of horse wall strategy or anything like that but just to just to take them off their mounts just so that they can be okay i have no idea what just hit me but i literally just got hit for 53 damage uh that that's that's some pretty harsh damage right there okay thank you very much i will not be going anywhere closer to them now and i will just let my forces do their do their business and um, maybe I'll do a little bit of something if enemies are getting closer to our forces, but they are just getting absolutely massacred. Is this guy actually a... Um, yeah, he might be a Radiant Cross Plague Warden fellow, and that might be what actually hit me here, because these guys are really, really damaging. I don't know what kind of crossbow they have, but obviously it's pretty harsh if they were able to do that much damage to me. Obviously they did headshot me. That's That's almost a given at this point anyway i'm just going to tell everyone to charge in here and we're just going to mop them up because otherwise they're just going to be able to well actually you know what <laughs> me being able to beat them from range is quite a quite an easy thing for us to do because we are really not going to have too many issues doing that i mean you know we most likely outclass them in regards to ranged attacks but in melee well, we definitely outclass them, I suppose, so we shouldn't have to worry about that either. But there you have it. We are now the proud victors of this particular battle, and we're going to be moving on to another vassal very, very close by. And hopefully I will then be able to go over to Janos. I'm pretty sure that I won't be able to really do much at Janos, to be honest. I'm thinking to myself I'm really not going to have a very good chance at that, but... I kind of want to anyway, just just purely for the fact that we're going to get a massive amount of renown for it. We may indeed be able to take it. It might be, you know, there might be a possibility for us to take it. I'm just going to give Alyssa a little bit of extra iron flesh here because I want her to survive a little bit more. And Kavera, well, obviously she's an absolute monster right now. So we're just going to give her another point in, another point in power throw. Yeah, power throw. Why not? Let's do another point in power throw there. She's almost got 30 strength, which is absolutely crazy. And yeah, okay, so we're absolutely fine here. Now let's go over to, uh, yeah, I, I, I want to take either Oregar Castle or Maris Castle, but I don't want to take either of them at the moment. Because look at this, look at what's currently going on here. Do you think we can actually do something? I don't know. Here's the thing, if, if they actually want to, oh, oh, wait, wait, are you wanting to attack me, sir? What is he doing? What is he doing right now? This is a very weird decision for this fellow to make. Okay, well, I, I don't mind that at all. This means that I'm going to be able to eliminate him without too many issues. And that's very strange. I'm not entirely sure why he decided to do this, but okay, who am I to say? You know, who am I to say? So we're just going to get my archers down here, get my cavalry over here as well. And these fellows are literally just, they're just going to get murdered. I mean, really. They are just going to get murdered. There's only 142 of them. And here comes the bloodbath. Yes, my archers aren't even in position right now, but my cavalry are, and they have already started to rain down the death upon the opponent. And there's not much for me to say, apart from the fact that they're just going to get absolutely destroyed here. And, yeah, while well, my cavalry aren't really... They're not really facing in the right direction, unfortunately. That's one of the main things, and one of the main reasons, actually, why I think that maybe dismounting them at some points, at some strategic points, could potentially make a much greater difference than any other reason, because being able to dismount them actually provides them with, you know, the same kind of, you know, facing towards the enemy, pro you know, probability that, you know, 
the regular archers have. And as it stands right now, I actually don't think they even have the ability to, well, some of them at least don't have the ability to shoot in the right direction, but Oh well, I don't think it really matters as it is. I mean, as you can quite clearly tell, we did end up losing one troop, but that was a Talon of the Falcon. So we don't need to worry about that too much, thankfully. And there's another 12 run out for us. We're just going to let him go once again. And, and you know, that we're just trying to farm. We're just trying to farm some, some honor here, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know. The best way, and this is what people have said in the, uh, in the comments, the best way to farm honor is to literally attack Noldor troops and take them prisoner and if you have a bunch of your own troops with blunt weapons you're going to have an easy easy time it's going to be so incredibly simple and uh, that's kind of something that maybe I was thinking of doing to be honest because if you can literally take every single one of those Noldor prisoner and then you can just release I don't know 60 of them 70 of them or something like that that's an insane amount of honor and yeah that would probably be a pretty decent strategy for us to have but i don't know i don't i don't really know whether i want to do that just before the final tournament of the noldor that we have um to do to you know actually get the mystical rune plate because if we do that we're then not going to have access maybe to Elecrae, dependent on how much damage we actually do to the Noldor, because we might have a lower relation with them or whatever. I'm actually not entirely sure if we can even attack them right now. It's probably unlikely, isn't it? Oh, are you serious? Oh. Well, this is not particularly good, is it? Okay. Well, um... <laughs> Ah, uh, what a classic. Okay, I'll, I'll tell everyone to charge, I guess. I'll tell everyone to charge in, and I guess we'll see what happens here. I'm actually not entirely sure. Can we can we succeed in actually taking Oswald prisoner? Because I know that someone actually did mention to me in the past that if you can hire them, then they don't give you a Qualus gem. And I'm not sure if we can hire Oswald, so I guess we're going to have to see... I guess we're going to have to see whether that is actually the case. Because if we can hire him, then he's not going to give us a Qualus gem. But if we can't, then he might. If we get lucky, you know. If we get lucky and we're actually able to take him prisoner, then that's obviously going to be fantastic. These fellows are literally just getting absolutely wrecked at the moment, though. So um, <laughs> maybe I didn't have to worry too much about, you know, them being in a particular formation or anything like that. But it seems like my forces are just absolutely destroying them. As we would want them to do, of course. And maybe I can do some damage as well. I'm just being a little bit careful here as well. This um, this main battle here is not something that I really want to... Uh, you know, I don't really want to get killed. I'd like to very much survive so that I can actually participate in the upcoming siege. Or in the upcoming battles. Because no doubt there's going to be another person that wants to fight us after this. It might be Marius Imperator himself. He actually um, hired Oswald, and so I'm kind of surprised that he didn't come out of Janos to assist him. I was wholeheartedly assuming that he would, but I, maybe he's, I don't know, maybe he's dejected, you know. Maybe he's learned his lesson or something like that, and he's deciding, yeah, you know what, that Barney fellow can just, you know, go away. Thank you very much. Maybe that's indeed what's happening here. It may very well be the case. Anyway, that is indeed another victory for us, and we've basically, we lost zero people. I mean, we did take some some casualties in the form of unconsciousness, but no one has died, and now I've just jinxed ourselves, and no doubt there will be someone. Or maybe not, no, it seems like no one actually died right there. 34 renowned for us as well, and we do actually get to take him prisoner, which is fantastic, so let's take him prisoner, and then we'll see whether we can actually do something with him. Whoa, is this actually better than what I have? It is slightly... Well, yeah, no, no, it's about the same, actually, hilariously enough. It is about the same. Anyway, we're just going to be taking the rest here because all this stuff actually sells for a decent amount. And I, I do want to try and upgrade my forces more. I need 160,000 to be able to upgrade, um, <laughs> I think. Is it? I think it's 140, 160? I don't know. Something like that. I need a lot. That's all I can say. I need a huge amount. So um, that's what I'm going to try to do if we can and otherwise apart from that we will just continue taking some prisoners here and there we have it okay so can he give us a qualus gem that's the question i think he can 
Let's have a look. Yep, there you go. We can actually get a Qualys Gem from him. That is fantastic. I will accept another one. I am so inc I am swimming in Qualys Gems right now. I think I have five Qualys Gems right here. I have two in my inventory, and I think I have three in my stash at the moment. So I am very much looking forward to um, spending them. I mean, how many do I need to actually upgrade the Mystical Rune Plate? As far as I'm aware, I think we only need one. Is that true? I think so. I think we only need one to upgrade that into its Rune version, because we already have the basic version. So I think that's how it's going to work, at least. And what else do we have going on here? I just need to make sure everyone's ready for the upcoming battle. And shall we go in? Are they going to attack? If they attack me right now, this could be a bit of a problem. Ah. Hello there. Hello there, sir. Oh, oh you only have 417. Why did you... Why, why did he do this? Why, why, why did he do this? This is very strange. I'm not entirely sure why he would decide to do something such as this. But, um, okay. If he wants to, then who am I to stop him? Okay. Right. Let's do this. Okay, so what do we need to do first? Well, technically, if he decides to be super hyper aggressive here, then I would probably just, you know, stay where I was. But he seems to be taking up a rather defensive positioning. So I'm just going to go up here, try to get the height advantage. And then just, you know, do our thing, as it were. And we're just going to put our cavalry at the top here, put our archers a little bit in the front of that, because obviously Biscuit Sergeants, they have that wonderful, wonderful polearm now, which is just literally able to shred pretty much any cavalry. But the problem with that is that, well, the, the cavalry actually need to rescue, rescue. They need to reach them. They need to reach them first. And that is obviously going to be the biggest, biggest bone of contention I guess you could call it but yeah anyway we can do some damage here not really trying to do anything specific I just want to do a little bit of damage let's not get killed in the process though Empire Gladiator these guys actually have pole arms as well so I really do not want to get involved in them thank you I'd like to try and avoid that if I can and uh, what do we have going on here that fellow just got taken off his mount ah uh, yes Empire Cavalry I remember them yeah, they're the ones with the crossbows. They're always annoying, aren't they? Yes, they are always annoying. So, hopefully, if we can just eliminate... Uh, that's the funny thing. If we can just eliminate enemies' horses, that's actually all we really need to do. Because as long as we eliminate their horse, we shouldn't have to worry too much about anything else. You can see how much damage we're doing here as well. Once you get a bit more used to the limited range of the Sapphire, by the way, it's actually fine. It is no problem at all. As you can see, we're literally able to pretty much hit every single time as long as you get the timing right because it is, of course, much faster than pretty much anything else you can you can equip. But um, yeah, otherwise, apart from that, we're just going to absolutely destroy every single person here. And I think we're... I'm probably going to die here, actually. Yeah, 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 almost, almost. If I hadn't gone off there and actually decided to make a bit of a detour, then I think I probably would have had some big, big problems. Okay, so we're just going to move our forces forward a little bit. Just a small amount. Take that guy off his mount if we can. Nope, nope. He's way too heavily armored. And shall we just tell my forces to charge? Maybe that would be a good idea. I don't really want to do that too prematurely. But also being hit by a thrown weapon is definitely going to say goodnight to me. So I don't really want to have that happen either. So let's see what we can do. I'm just going to tell them to charge. Why not? Let's tell our archers to go a little bit closer here as well. We can eliminate that fellow. Wow, he just crumpled. And wow, the, the yeah, these guys are literally just getting out of here, aren't they? They are literally just like, nope, I'm, I'm out of here, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's... I don't blame them, to be honest. I really do not. If I was faced with an opponent like ourselves, I would probably just be like, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to retreat straight away. How did I get killed by an Empire Knight? What kind of ranged weapons do they have? I guess they have thrown weapons or something like that. I guess that's the only thing that could possibly eliminate us. Unless... Wait a minute. Empire Knights. No, Empire Cavalry are the ones with the crossbows, right? At least that's what I remember. 
Hmm. Oh, well, maybe they also have crossbows. I don't know. But, um, yeah, that's what we got killed by. Yeah. Sad, isn't it? Yes. Very, very sad indeed. But my forces should be able to take care of business here. I mean, as you can quite clearly tell, we've got an amazing amount of, well, <laughs> kill death ratio, I guess, is what you could call it. But, yeah, we are hopefully going to be fine here. We probably will. Well, Sir Shrek, the battle is won. All right, well, there it is. 72 renown for us right there. We did end up losing quite a few more T Knights than I would have wanted. But, you know, sometimes that just happens. You can't really do much about it. Anyway, this guy is possibly going to join us. As you can see, he has good natured. So I'm still going to let him probably go. And hopefully he'll uh, turn up at our court at some point in the future. Unfortunately, Marius Imperator was able to escape. Very sad about that, because obviously, you know, if we know anything about ransoming kings, well, you know, they give you a lot of cash. Let's just say that. So it would have been absolutely wonderful if we could have done that, but nope, couldn't do it this time. Anyway, we're just going to take a couple of uh, couple of people here, a couple of, you know, higher, higher ranking troops, and then, wow, we actually got a, a lot of experience, but basically none of our people need to level up, of course. Anyway... We will be continuing our Siege of Janos here. If they decide to go in against us once again, then that is obviously perfectly fine with me. Um, but I'm, I'm fine to actually go in here. They're going to sally out. Ooh, this might be a bit of a problem. Minus seven. Oh, we're really close. Okay, charge them. Just charge them. Just charge them straight on in here. Just charge them. They are not doing a very good job of actually... Um, doing this to be honest i i personally think that this is a mistake on their part but maybe uh i don't know maybe there isn't anything else for them to do but all their crossbowmen and things are gonna be way too close actually wait a minute maybe not i'm gonna try to interrupt these guys as best i can Ah, uh, no, no, don't get shot by that guy. Ah, uh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die here. But we are distracting a bunch, which is, I guess, good. <laughs> uh, I kind of wish... You know what? I think I might actually do that. I think what we want to do is maybe change our companion's tags. Because in these kinds of situations, it would be wonderful if we just had a commando unit that could just follow me around and actually help me out. But I don't know whether they're actually going to do that. Some of the time they do. Some of the time they're a little bit silly in regards to what they actually decide. But um, yeah, I think that's probably going to be the best thing that we could do there. I, I just wish that we had, like, you know, just a couple of people that would have followed me onto the flank. But you know how the AI is. They're not really going to be that smart and they're not going to really do that unless you tell them to do so. So yeah. That's obviously what's happened here, but we are victorious. We did end up losing 14, but obviously that is really not that big of a problem. At least in my opinion, I am, I'm, you know, perfectly aware that we are obviously going to lose some troops in some of these engagements, which in my opinion is just a matter of course, to be honest. Okay, wait a minute. I'm not retreating, but they are not giving me the victory message. Okay. Oh, that's kind of annoying, actually. I'm not sure why they didn't give me the uh, the renown for that either. But as you can see, we've done so much damage here that they only have 600 left in the garrison. And we should be able to take this relatively easily. They actually have 29 Noldor Rangers in the garrison here. In the prisoner's hold, that is. And I would have absolutely loved to rescue them. But you need to tweak the game to be able to rescue higher tier troops, so... I mean, it would be very overpowered if we were able to do that, but it doesn't really make sense that we are not able to, but you know how it is. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.